Lastly, let's get up to Buffalo to check on the Bills. And this one going the visitor's way as the Cardinals have the lead in that one. Christian Kirk, a touchdown reception. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. Let's field it at the two. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. So now the Dolphins set to take over on offense. They're working on a four-game winning streak, and they lead this one as well right now as they start first and 10. A pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes us forward for about six. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Looking to throw on second down. Vaughn completes it to Ajayi. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Now the former fourth-round pick, it's Cannon Balazs. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. They'll run here with Balazs. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. To throw on second down. Vaughn will set up the screen to Balazs. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. A couple of plays sent him the wrong way, and now they face a third and 14. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. Looks to throw, fires right side, and that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Throwing his Brady on third down. Goes underneath here to White. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Brady now, 11 of 16 through the air. It's first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The intended target, the tight end, Austin Safarian Jenkins. And it's second down. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Now Brady. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. That's complete to White. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display 